so if you enable packages templates for this plugin Woo installments so you have these two columns here for that purpose uh, first uh, you need to enable uh, the installments I mean every product uh, will not be uh, will not be forced to have installments by uh, installing this plugin so you can simply go to check is it enabled or look here installments are not enabled for this product click here to enable you will come back here right and if you see here with view so no installments on this product to enable save changes right if I refresh here you can see these installments uh, this one is disabled as I uh, told in our earlier uh, tutorial that it has been purchased by the current logged in user that's why it's disabled okay now you you want to make it packages uh, style right so enable this save changes and by enabling that packages uh, you will see this package heading here so you can write something like uh, winter season course you may enroll now A any heading on top of the page refresh winter season course you may enroll now and these things these boxes can be managed with CSS obviously uh, your designer or if you uh, if you are having already uh, as you are having already some CSS uh, in your uh, theme so it will work fine or else you can obviously manage it with some CSS I'm having four packages that's why it's, uh, there is no space here so it's going here down right there okay and here is another option if you want to enable full product switch like uh, like you are giving the option of installments but still you want to enable this option in interested in full buy click here to buy complete product click here and you will see a thumbnail add to card quantity etc so else just refresh I mean that user will refresh and he will be obviously interested in payments uh, in inst installments okay here I go through once again like this you can uh, define the slabs line by line you need to separate the price with the description price description like this automatically uh, it will be separated no need to enter currency because WooCommerce currency can be changed from here settings so don't enter currency here uh, you can enter anything here like first 10 lessons and you can write more more words here it will be simply come to next line and I would uh, encourage you to keep the length of the sentence same so it will give a better look like it's one line it, these are having two lines so it's better that you manage uh, with the same number of uh, lines okay uh, another thing uh, which was obviously planned but pending that you can change the language initially it is translated in Dutch language right Woo installments 
here everything has been changed accordingly this this was an example so I left it like this but uh, all other words are translated and same like this this settings page will be translated and front end like this wherever wherever it is applicable like this are you interested in full buy click here okay if I click here you see 20 euro and I will proceed it is the same thing as I described in previous uh, tutorial thank you so much